Hey, greetings from Terry here at D-Lab, and boy, do I have a treat for you. A fellow sent me a couple amps that I built years ago, and this one that showed up I had forgotten all about, but it was actually like maybe my first or second amp that I ever built. So here it is. It's the D-Lab H2O, okay? Very cool looking amp. I actually used a piece of photographic paper for the front panel spray painted this cabinet with Tester's blue paint. So it is a 6AQ5 Class A amp crammed in that little cabinet, right? Custom job. Let me show you what it started out as. So I ran across some of these old intercoms from the 60s made by Fannin, okay? So this is actually the cabinet I got the idea to turn it into a little practice amp. It was quite complicated, very compact. Well, unfortunately, the H2O failed, and it's back here in the shop. So let's see what's going on with the H2O. Well, here's a close-up of the H2O. You can see she has a little bit of battle damage. But all in all, she survived pretty well. So here's your input, volume, gain, tone and he's missing the knob hopefully I can find one so she's powered up got the scope hooked up over here already I see an issue see that that ain't good she's got some hum Let's see if we can hear it mechanically humming let me get right up on it yep She's a buzzing. My guess is filter cap. So you take out two bottom screws and pop off the front knobs. And it should slide right out of the cabinet. But of course, it's fighting me. I guess I should have consulted the manual. You gotta tip it upside down. Well, there is the fine point-to-point -point construction. Pretty wild, huh? Alright, there's the bottom of the filter cap. And yes, it looks like we have an open section. There's one section. The other one is here. And the third one is there, which is feeding the screens of the 6AQ5 tube. So, time to change filter cap. All right, so as usual, I just cut the leads off the old filter cap, get everything hanging, get this guy out of the way, pop in the new cap, wire it up. All right, we're using the special D-Lab modified tube socket for the new filter cap, so I have drilled out these holes that you see so that I can use this as a base for the filter cap. And of course, to get that in there, it takes a lot of heat, doesn't it? So you know what I have to use? You guessed it. Good evening. Sit back and relax. The old Snow's Ramus! A lot of people wonder where ghouls come from. Well, they come from all over. They have. A lot of ghouls come from Portugal. <laughs> Can't beat that. <laughs> I got some of the caps in for the bias circuit of the 6AQ5. Now it's time to put in the rest, but CD of the night, the the soul mining. Cool stuff. So with my drilled out octal tube socket, it provides a base for the new filter caps to seat and I'll solder the leads on the lugs underneath. All right, we've got all the caps top side mounted up, and I have the grounds underneath all connected. Now it's time to hook up the hot sides. We're getting close. So there's a new capacitor assembly ready for a piece of heat shrink tubing to protect it and keep those caps together, and then we'll be ready to fire this thing up. 
Looks like Q5 is reinstalled, so I thought at this point I could walk you through the chassis real quick. So yep, it's a little Class A amp, about a 2 to 3 watt amplifier. This is your power transformer, output tube, new filter cap assembly, idiot light, 12AX7 preamp, and there is the output transformer. Look underneath here real quick. Here's your point to point wiring, speaker output jack, a line output jack. This thing is biased with a 270 ohm resistor right there, strapped with a 100 microfarad cap. There's your controls, and yes, a fuse. Alright, getting ready for the initial test after replacing the filter cap assembly. I've got my leader audio generator, have a dummy load hooked to the unit, oscilloscope to monitor the output, and take a look what I just discovered. It still had the ID tag on it, so yep, she's a 2008 model. Back when the economy was great, surprise I sold it. Alright, ready to test it. I'm going to kill the lights so we can see what's going on. Kick on the little amp. Back here, so we don't have that glare on the scope. So the controls are volume, gain, and tone. So let's see what we get. And look at there. Nice and clean. Let's see if I can make it distort with a gain. Yep. So the H2O is doing the job. Varying the frequency. And there's a tone. Excellent. Let it cook for a while, but I'm absolutely sure it's ready to go. So the H2O lives on a successful repair, and I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I still have that schematic in my archives, and yep, I found it. So here it is, guys. Take a look. The original H2O schematic from 08. So here it is for your review. And if you want a hard copy, I have this saved as a JPEG. So just shoot me an email and I'll get this thing right over to you. Pretty basic design, very compact and relatively cheap to build since it just uses a 6AQ5. But boy, does it produce some nice tone and distortion in a small practice amp. So that's it from D-Lab. It's time for me to have my kind of H2O, if you know what I mean. We'll see you again.